Hello and welcome back artists and designers. We're going to work on part two of our inking process. So in the last video, we talked about different ways to go about inking, uh, went through and did that process. So this video is really simple. We're going to talk about doing our flat colors before we do our final layer with our shading. Um, so we're going to go ahead here and I went ahead and finished my inking. I have that on its own layer. I'm going to lock that out. Uh, I made a new layer here for the flats and I can go ahead and hide probably my, um, my reference image under there and just use my flat layer for color. So there are two ways that um, you can go about doing this. Uh, you can use the blob brush or the pencil tool. So with the blob brush, um, I'll go ahead and click on that one um, and choose my fill color. And I'm just going to pick like my kind of standard. Let's do the, uh, let's do this orange right here. Go ahead and hide that. I'm on my flat layer. And so I can use the blob brush for this. And remember, you can make it a little bit bigger by holding that bracket key down. And oops, it's going in this black. I forgot. Even though it is making a uh, fill, you have to switch the fill in the stroke. So let's try that again. There we go. Okay, that's the right one. So for the blob brush, I can literally go over this. And you can see since that is on um, underneath of the inking layer, it doesn't matter if you paint over the lines because that is on the layer above it. So we're not going to see that. So I can kind of work my way through here with the blob brush and do this. This works well for smaller areas, like maybe in the leaf, I might want to use this, but for a larger area, it might be easier if you could fill this in a little bit quicker. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the pencil tool. So I'm going to double click on the pencil tool. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to want to check this box by default. That's not checked. So fill new pencil strokes. Um, that's going to put a fill since the pencil uh, defaults to just a stroke. We're going to choose to have the fill on it. Um, the keep selected. I don't really know that I need that. So I'm going to uncheck that one. I'm going to hit OK. And so with the pencil tool, what I can do here is I can grab this. And if I do this right now, it's on stroke. So it's just going to give me the stroke. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to flip to a fill. So I'm going to make sure that I now fill with my pencil and I can basically grab this pencil tool and I can do big chunks of this. And, um, you know, you can go in and try to be a little bit more careful or you can do it in combination with the blob brush. So grab that. Now you can see I went outside of the line a little bit. Um, and I'm doing this really quick for the video but I'm going to close this up. So there we go. Now these, I have to be careful because these are separate pieces and shapes. So I am going to want to I actually probably don't need to, but I'm going to want to maybe eventually merge them together, but I won't worry about that just a second. If you do go outside the lines, not a big deal, grab your eraser tool and I should be able to come in here with my eraser and go ahead and oops, I don't have that selected. Hold on. I have something else selected. I should be able to go through and clean that up. So I can grab my eraser tool and you can very easily adjust and clean that up. Um, just again, make sure that you have your top layer locked so you're not erasing anything on that. You can also, with any of these, since they are shapes with anchor points, you can grab an anchor point and pull it down. If you have like a little area that you wanna fill in, you can also just manipulate and move the anchor points around on any of these areas that you need to adjust. So blob brush, any of them, you're gonna see the anchor points and you can use those to kind of fill areas in. So those are your two options. Uh, blob brush works really well for the smaller, more detailed areas. You can kind of go in there and get in nice and close and tight. And remember, if you want to make the brush bigger, bracket keys, I hold that bracket key down, but by, by the P key, left bracket, it's going to make it smaller. You need to get into the more detailed areas and the right bracket is going to make it much bigger and allow you to cover a little bit more ground quickly. So there you go. Those are two basic methods for kind of flatting in the colors. Um, it's really pretty simple to do. You're just looking to get that solid color, solid tone uh, built onto your image. And then in the next video, we'll talk about doing our uh, detail work here with our shading. Uh, but just work your way through this design and uh, go ahead and use either method or some sort of combination of both methods and do your inking or sorry, your flatting of colors and uh, look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. All right, have some fun with that, and I'll see you in the next video for our detail work.